Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar, and I have another, uh, well, I have another new product for you. Uh, this is actually a new product on the line. Now they have had similar versions of this out, and uh, I ended up going, and I believe it was one of the Indiegogo's or one of those various uh, crowdfunding companies that I went through for this. And uh, I figured this would be kind of cool. This is from Rocketbook. All right, and here's the two sizes that come in this Rocketbook series. Uh, now, this Rocketbook, this uh, model of Rocketbook is called the Everlast. Uh, you've got a standard notebook size, and then you've got a much smaller executive size. Now, in this, as I'm kind of reading down through this, uh, the pages are made to look and feel like regular paper, but they're made with a blend of synthetic, uh, it's a synthetic blend of polyester. And here we go with, uh, oh, we got some extra things there, but there you go. There's what a page looks like right here. And they do, it, it, it is it is, does feel very much like a regular sheet of paper. There is, uh, you can definitely feel that it's kind of plasticky. It, it definitely has a plastic type feel. So, you know, of course, there's where the uh, polyester comes in. I, now, they you do write on these, and it's not, unfortunately, like a, a lot of uh, types of, well, a lot of types of notebooks or anything like that. When you write on paper, it kind of soaks it up, like, instantly, and it's pretty much dry right away, within a second. Uh, these ones do say that uh, they dry within 10 to 15 seconds, so uh, there is a little bit of lead time in there uh, where it's not going to be, obviously, you jot it down and, and then you can run your hand over it as soon as you're done and, and it's going to be good. It may smear because it does need that little bit of extra lead time to, to dry. Now, even though this is a a polyester, which is basically a variation of a plastic. These are not whiteboards. Uh, the friction pens, which are actually regular uh, erasable pens, they, uh, well, they're exactly that. They're regular erasable pens. They're just the ones that they happen to have modeled the uh, Rocketbook paper for, so that uh, when you use water of some type, it can. Uh, release the ink away from the paper. Since it is a polyester, it will let it lift off. But when you write on it and you let it sit, it does do a permanent bond up until the point that you use the water or whatever to uh, wash it away with. Now, like I said, there is that cloud connection where you can upload the information there. And they do have a handful of different uh, uh, areas that you can use it in. There's Google Drive box. You can send it to email. You could use Evernote, Dropbox, Slack, and OneNote. So those, of course, are all different uh, applications or uh, whatnot to be able to upload your uh, images, um, writings, whatever, from your Rocketbook onto the cloud or online. Uh, they say about being able to uh, instantly organize as well and in here it basically says uh, it sees your pages and automatically files them online uh, now they say Rocketbook machine vision sees them now what that is if I understand right I believe that uh, part of an app that you can get with your phone. So you have some of those apps on there that you can sit there and take a picture and it creates a PDF. I, I believe that's very similar to the way this app works. The only thing is, is there's a bit more intelligence to it. Um, you can, of course, see the little mark down here, the QR code mark, as well as there are these little symbols down at the, at the side over here, which we will go over in just a minute and uh, those will help you to determine like where something goes automatically. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think that's kind of what these symbols are for. 
So that's what you do. You just scan it and it automatically goes to wherever you've determined it to send to. If you're writing an email out, you sit there and you just select the fact that it's going to be an email. You write it out, scan it, and you're done. It automatically goes into the email. Then all you have to do is click send and you're on your way. Or at least it's roughly that easy. Now, on, on this, it says each Rocketbook page has seven symbols. Yes, rate it. now it's very difficult. I'm looking at this and there is a kind of a grid pattern of a bunch of squares. And I'm sure that's kind of how the computer uh, figures out the location of everything. It, it works it all out into a grid pattern. Now, of course, there's the QR code and then there are those symbols that are across the bottom. Now, the symbols across the bottom each stand for something different. Uh, as I understand, you can uh, set them to different things. Uh, one being for maybe you set one to be for your email. One will go to your Dropbox. One goes to your Google Drive, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You can go to each one of the cloud connection places, or you could set it for something else, I believe, as well. Uh, says that you would use the Rocketbook app and you can assign each symbol to a specific destination inside any supported cloud service. So I'm not sure exactly how many pages there are here. I'm going to guess there's around 30-ish, 20 to 30 pages here on this one. So it's not super thick, but it doesn't need to be when you're going to turn around and be able to clean it all off. Of course, they are double-sided, and uh, they've got the QR code basically just set up in the in uh, in the corner there depending on which side you flip the page as well as the little icons down there at the bottom now like i said those icons are very very small i don't know that you're going to be able to see them i am having a hard time seeing them myself they're very faint but of course you don't want them to be real big and bold because you're going to be writing so all you do to select one of those icons is put an x over top of it now inside the bottom here uh, let me see. I do believe that it came with a pen. Okay, it did come with with one pen, so I can um, so I can go ahead and try this out here. But uh, here we go. We're going to go ahead and just do a little little drawing or something. And there we go. Hello, welcome to world of me. I'm Cougar. Uh, writing on this, it's very smooth. Uh, like I said, this this does have kind of a plastic feel. Uh, you know, it, it's close to paper. When you're lifting it up, it definitely has that. It's just, it's so smooth across the top. And paper usually isn't this smooth. It usually does have more texture than this. But to sit here and write across it, it, it it's it's very nice. It does feel, it doesn't, it doesn't feel absolutely like paper, granted. Uh, it, but it does feel very smooth. It does feel like you're writing on plastic. Like if you've ever tried to write on, say, a piece of plastic like this before, you felt what it feels like, especially if it's a little bit thicker than this. This is pretty thin, but the kind that won't like give underneath the tip of the pen. It's definitely got that thicker feel, like m that it's more stable, and. Uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't give under the weight of the tip of the pen. So it it does feel good writing with. It's it's very smooth. Um it does have it, it is skipping a little bit. Um I don't know if that's if that's just because of the way that I'm writing because I'm trying to write quickly or uh what exactly that is. So see if I write a little bit slower, it takes the ink a little bit better. And see as I said it does take a little while for the ink to dry. So the stuff that I just started to write started to wear off pretty quickly, but the other stuff, see, as we're going, all that other stuff is staying, so it's had that time to dry. Now, let's go ahead and see, does the eraser work? Yeah, there you go. So there you go. The eraser is working just fine. Got a piece of tissue here, and uh, I just put a little bit of water on it. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Oh, there we go. Cleans it right off. So now all those marks that I just made, and I am looking closely at this to see, and you can see the ink on there. Now, again, that's not coming off. 
right there. So, but, as soon as I use something that's a little damp, there it goes. So now, and of course this is wearing away because it's just a piece of tissue, but uh, now we've got a brand new sheet to work with. The cool thing about this is the entire thing is made from this polyester. So you can sit here and take with a washcloth and just sit here and flip through the pages and wash it all off. Let's see what the big one looks like. I'm sure it's probably pretty, pretty similar to the smaller one. But of course, you know, I'm curious. Let's see what we've got. There we go, full size sheet. Oh, okay, and we've got that too. So, full size sheets, looks like, uh, and there we go. It does say here, do not microwave this notebook. This is not the wave. This is not the one that's going to erase with a microwave. So, you know, you could damage, could damage it beyond the point of being useful anymore. Uh, in this one, we've got, uh, Greetings from Rocketbook, the notebook from the future, as it says. All right, well, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. My name's Cougar with World of Me, and just go over this last little bit here with, these are the uh, Rocketbooks, the two different sizes that they have. This is their Everlast series. They do, of course, have the Wave series. Uh, both of them are erasable. They're both, uh, you know, in different ways. This one, you just use the, of course, the water to wipe it off with. Use the pilot friction line of uh, writing instruments, be they markers or pens. And uh, this is, of course, the very newest model they have out. It literally just came out. They just started to ship. This is part of the first batch that they have out. Uh, I believe uh, it was Indiegogo that you can uh, get these from. Go ahead and check down below, and I will have the link for that. Uh, also, while you're down there, check out World of Me's social media. And, uh, you know, if you, uh, as you're going on your way down there, there's that thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that. It lets me know that you like the content and, and uh, would like to see more. Also, well, about right here is going to be a little link. And that little link is for subscribing. You'll see the World of Me logo. And you click on that, subscribe. Make sure that it's set up for notifications. And you'll see when we've got new episodes and new videos out for World of Me and the different series that we have here on World of Me. All right, guys, I will see you later and have a good day. Bye.